I take the ball. I take the ball. I put it here. I put it here. I take the ball. I take the ball. I put it here. Imagine getting up in the morning with no clean water to drink or wash with. What if you had to walk a kilometer or more to get your water, and even then it wasn't clean? That's reality for nearly 900 million people worldwide who live without access to clean water, and 2.5 billion who live without adequate sanitation. Sub-Saharan Africa has the highest number of people without access to clean water in the world. This crisis is the main cause of diarrhea, the largest killer of children in Africa. Most of the water sources are contaminated with fecal matter from animals and human beings. And in return, that translates into diseases which mostly affect children, small little children, uh, old people who are losing their immunity, and those who, are, who have already lost their immunity through diseases like HIV. Responsible for more than 200 million deaths globally each year, every five minutes another child dies. Gender inequality is evident. For families with no home source of water, it's usually women and girls who go to collect the drinking water. This can involve several hours of walking and carrying water every day, reducing time available for child care, household tasks and other productive activity, and keeping children from attending school. Lack of access to water and sanitation increases the risk to women of sexual harassment and rape, since they have to travel through remote areas, often in darkness. People living with HIV-AIDS need up to five times more clean water than average, and this is frequently not available. Drilling boreholes is one possible solution, but it is quite expensive, often fraught with maintenance problems and usually not available for those living in remote areas. Without access to clean water, rural people are five times more exposed to disease than people in urban areas. My name is Owen Guerere, a water chemist by profession. I've come here to do water quality in shallow wells which are protected here in the northern region. So far, regarding the results that I've gotten for the samples that I've done, I've done about 50 of them. We have found out that over 70 percent of the water is contaminated. The Malawi Water Project mandate is designed to reduce these problems in a unique, sustainable manner. It's a demand-driven project, hence more likely to succeed. The Malawi Water Project trains community health promoters. When thoroughly trained on safe water and sanitation, the promoters meet with village headmen to request a meeting with the local community. The community health promoters explain proper hygiene, sanitation, and safe water practices to the people, and those expressing interest are asked to return for another meeting to learn about biosand water filters. Names of those attending this meeting are added to an eligibility list to obtain a filter. The recipient is expected to contribute in some form through some financial contribution or by participating in the filter construction process. Once someone in the community has a filter, others usually want their own, creating demand. The community health promoters also visit schools to teach students about safe water, proper hygiene, and sanitation. The students bring their information home to their families and neighbors. There the ideas germinate and grow, often awakening the adults' interest in safe water, hygiene, and biosand water filters. The biosand water filter invented in Alberta operates like a water table. It removes 98% of harmful pathogens and can be built locally from mainly local materials. A well-maintained filter will last a lifetime. About three months after the filter is delivered, a community health promoter or biosand filter expert returns to check on its use, measuring flow rates and water level and checking operation of the diffuser lid. A further checkup a year later ensures that everything is operating safely and efficiently. The Malawi Water Project offers many added benefits. 
the need for firewood to boil water is eliminated, reducing deforestation and air pollution that have long had detrimental effects on the Malawian environment. The water in the filter is cold, an important selling point where electricity is scarce. Building the biosand water filters and teaching proper hygiene and sanitation practices provides employment in a country with staggering unemployment rates. The ultimate goal is to empower the people of Malawi to provide a sustainable, safe and healthy environment in which to raise their families for generations to come. The Malawi Water Project needs funding, creates steel molds for the biosand water filters and for raw materials, transportation of materials and filters, and wages for those who construct the filters. The key ingredients of knowledge and training are provided with generous support from the Center for Affordable Water and Sanitation. For more complete information on the Malawi Water Project, visit our website, malawiwaterproject.com. Your help is essential to make this work. We are truly grateful for your support. And that's, that's what drives us. We're trying to assist the communities. We're trying to help the people be able to, to uh, have the solutions, have some kind of interventions uh, and solve their own problems.